In this video, we will see how to convert string to date in SQL. We will be seeing four methods in this video, which uses cast function, convert function, try cast, and try convert function. So these four function we are going to see in this video, and we will convert string to date using SQL. This is a very important conversion in SQL because in our day-to-day -day activities as a data analyst, we are going to convert a lot of strings to date and vice versa. So this is really important and only if we have the correct data type, we will be able to convert that data into some meaningful insights. So we'll first see what cast function is doing and how we'll use cast function to convert a string to date. So uh, I have already wrote the query because I don't want to miss any specific point. So I have included all the different cases and different points here. So we'll start with a select clause. And in the first cast function, what we are going to do here is we are converting a string which is having the format date, which is day, month and year as date. So we are converting a string into date. So let me also note the syntax for cast function. So first will be whatever be the expression, expression or column and expression will be converted or casted into a particular data type. So as data type. So we'll specify the data type here. So this is the basic syntax for cast function. So that is expression or column will specify first and then that have to be converted into the specific data type which follows after the us. So that is the second one which is date. So here we are converting this particular string into date and I'm giving a name for that string to date which is the first expression. So, so this is the first part. So in the second part what we are doing here is we are converting a string function but which is of different format here we saw it is day month year but here it is year month and day and this is converted into a date time function date time data type so here it was date here it is date time and the name is given as string to date time and the third one is we are converting the reverse that is we are getting the date first and then we are converting that into a variable character string that is we are converting the date into a string so let me run this query and let us see the output and what is the difference between the three columns so we have the output the first column is string to date one which is obtained from this part that is cast this input string as date as the first column and the second one is that input input string is converted into date time so we have a time also appended into the output and the third one is we are converting the date into a variable character that is a uh, date is converted into a string so the output is like the particular date is converted into string that is september 30 2023 and the correct time will also get appended but the data type will be a string data type so this is basically how we convert date to string and string to date using the cast function but uh, the problem with cast function is that cast does not give us much flexibility convert compared to the convert function so now we'll see the convert function and see what is the difference between cast and convert and how we'll convert data type in convert using convert function so for the convert function uh, this is the basic syntax so here we have three arguments the first one is data type the second one is expression or the column the third one is style so there is an additional argument we have with the convert function that is style so uh, yeah if uh, if i take the documentation part this is i am taking as w3 school website so here as you can see we have different styles which we can specify in the style argument for convert function and based on that our data will be converted into the specific formats and some of the formats we will see in this video and first uh, let me run this query and we will see what is the difference between the different conversion styles and data types the first query is convert date so that is uh, first we are specifying the data type we want to convert this expression into date and in the format of 103 and let me go back to the uh, documentation part so that is this specific format and the second one is similar thing only but that is date time S uh, similarly the third part is like convert date into date time so uh, it is a string the input is a string or input expression is a string and the 
style is 102 and I'm giving a name date time to and the final one is convert the particular string into date only and the format is 110 let me run the query and we'll see the output so here we have the output and we can see that the first column which is date one is giving us only the date because we only specify the data type as date here and in the second one we have specified the data type as date time so we have date as well as time appended into the output similarly for the third one we have the date time up the date and time appended together and for the fourth one we have the date so it is date only we have in the query uh, now moving down there is one problem with this convert function uh, we can't call that a problem actually because either we have to specify the style function or we have to specify the by default uh, string style so what happens is if I try to run this function there will be an error because this is a string date function uh, sorry this is a string which is in the format day month and year but this is not recognized by SQL by default so what happens is it will throw us an error which tells that conversion failed when converting date or time from character string so here what happens is the SQL could not identify uh, the string in the particular format that it was looking for so it, it uh, gave us an error so uh, if we don't want that error or if the error is not supposed to happen what we can do here is either we have to change the format in which we input the string or we have to provide the style so I am giving here this string date underscore 2 so we will try this one so what I did here is I changed the input string format from dd which is day month year to month sorry year month and day so now if I run this query I should get the output see now I have the output and convert has simply converted the particular string into date function sorry date data type and here the convert function is exactly acting like the cast function so here we have only have two arguments we don't have any style but the input string is in the format the SQL is looking for so that is why we did not get any error here also what we can do with the above queries the exact same query what we can do with this one is we can specify the style in the convert function so that it won't throw us any error so here if I come down in this query if you see uh, after the convert inside the argument that is the first one is data type which is date we want to convert this string into date and this date is in the format which gave us an error in the previous query that is day month and year but here we have an additional argument that is 104 we are specifying one style in which we want the output and in the next query also I am specifying a different style in which I want the output now if I run the query I won't get any error because I have specified the style in which I have uh, provided the data so if I come back to the documentation part if I come to the third one see as you can see 103 is ddmm y y y y so here also I have given the input as td mm y y y y that is why SQL now is not throwing us an error and simply giving us the result but here since we haven't specified that style it was giving us an error now when we specified this error the error is no more available and we have this rectified and now uh, coming down the uh, one of the main issue with this cast and convert function is that sometimes we can see that this cast and convert function will fail it is because we don't have the right input string that is uh, in this query if we see the query we can see that in the cast first cast function we have the correct date which is 01012000 as date we are casting this string as date and giving a column name as dt1 and the second one is 0101 the year party 0000 which is not within the permissible limit so here what is going to happen is this is this cast function is going to throw us an error now let me run the query and let us see what is happening so we have an error which says that conversion failed when converting 
date or time from character string it is because the input string is not in the actual range that is this is not a valid input string to get converted into a date function so in this case we are going to use the next two functions which are try cast and try convert so in order to eliminate this limitation with the cast and convert function we are going to use try cast and try convert function in sql so the same query the only change i am going to do here is instead of the cast function i am using the try cast now let me run the query and let us see the output so we have dt1 as 2001.01 and the second one is null because this is not a valued input date that is 01.01.0000 is not a valid input so we have this as the null in the output and coming down the same thing happens with convert function so uh, here the query is select convert and in the bracket we are having three arguments which is uh, date time so we have to convert this string into date time data type and the uh, input output style is 103 which is dd mm yy yy so if i run this query we will get the same error which is which will tell us conversion of where care data type to a date time data type resulted in an out of range value so we have the similar error here which tells us this is not in the actual permissible limit so we have an error so in order to eliminate this thing instead of this convert we are going to use the try convert function so the only change compared to this query is that instead of the convert we are going to use try convert function so now if i run this query will not be getting an error and will get the data converted but here since the data is not in the valid range we will get null instead of some valid value so these are some ways in which we can convert string to date in sql thank you